hopping on our surfboard and heading to Route 20, we arrive at the Seafoam Islands. Before entering, there's a potion delivery person on the left that will heal our Pokemon if we need, so use that if you need. After walking through the entrance, we head to the right and start the long process of pushing boulders into holes. Doubling back a little bit and heading up the ramp, we're going to find an ice heel. And then we're going to head past this ladder and find a coach trainer that will reward us with five rare candies if we beat him. Avoid the ladder one more time and keep heading to the right to find an escape rope. And then we can continue on to find another boulder to knock down a hole. Go ahead and head down this closest ladder and grab the five great balls on the floor. And then we can go ahead and push this boulder into that hole. Head back up that ladder and then we're going to make our way all the way to the left of that first ladder that we skipped twice and head down that one. From here we head down and around up towards this other ladder and grab the max potion on the floor. Go ahead and head down this closest ladder and then push this boulder into the hole. Since there's nowhere else to go we're just going to head straight back up. Back on the second floor, we're going to head down and to the right and head up the second ramp and grab the super rappel on the floor. Now go ahead and head up and pass this ladder and use this boulder on the right and push it down the hole. Head down the closest ladder and then head down a bit from there and you'll see an item on the ground which is TM55 which is Ice Beam. Now we're going to go ahead and head down this closest ladder. Immediately hopping off the ladder, we see an X speed on the ground here. Now we're going to head all the way straight up and grab the super lure on the ground. Skip this ladder and head over towards the stream and hop in. Now we're going to get flushed down the river and end up in a small pond from here. Go ahead and head straight up and hop out of the pond and grab this big pearl on the ground. Go ahead and climb up this closest ladder to the right, and we're going to grab the super rappel that's on the floor next to this next ladder, and then keep on climbing up from here. Once we're at the top of the ladder, we're going to push this boulder down into the hole, and then head all the way back down those ladders again. Really quickly, we're going to head all the way over to the left and grab this next big pearl laying on the ground. We've now officially pushed enough boulders to leave, but if you want to get the legendary bird, we're going to have to push a little bit more, so bear with me here. To finish up this last little bit, we need to head back to the third floor and try to make our way all the way to the bottom left corner of the floor. Here we're going to find four boulders in somewhat of a little puzzle. Go ahead and push the far left boulder all the way into the hole and then head over to the right. Now we're going to push the boulder right in front of the right hole over to the left a little bit to get it out of the way and maneuver the ones to the right of that around enough to where we can get one out and push it into the hole. Now we can hop into either of these holes just to make our descent a little bit quicker and we're going to end up in the water right underneath Articuno. From here just head straight up and hop onto the land and then grab the big pearl and go ahead and save your game because we're about to fight Articuno. Walk up and interact with the bird and we'll be able to watch a cutscene and enter the battle. Once in the battle, using a nice electric type move will pretty much one shot the bird if your Pokemon's high enough. And then we're going to head right into the catching sequence. Make sure you're stocked up on Ultra Balls here because after 40 of them, I was finally able to catch Articuno and log it into my Pokedex. Now that all that's done, you can either use an escape rope or head back out to the third floor to make our escape. 
Once back on the third floor, we're going to hop across the stream really quick and find the ladder in the bottom right corner of the room. From here, it's a pretty straight shot all the way up. Just get all the way to the very top and then head out the doorway and you'll be on the other side of the Seafoam Islands. I really hope this guide helps you guys out a little bit and if you want to see some of my other Pokemon Let's Go videos, head over to my channel. I've got a whole playlist full of them and I'm going to be putting out a lot more of them in the future so if you want to, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.